Today's lesson on polynomials is on multiplication and division of monomials. All right, so um, if you're faced with a question that involves the multiplication of two or more monomials, so we call monomials are, um, it's a single term. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna multiply the numerical coefficients, which are the numbers, and then we use the rules for exponents um, to multiply um, the little coefficients, which are the variables or the letters. So for example, um, here we have 3x squared multiplied by 4x to the power of 5. So this should be review of when we were working with exponents. So we would multiply the 3 and the 4 together. So I'm just going to show that written here. We're multiplying the 3 times the 4 together. And then we're going to multiply um, the x squared and the x to the power of 5 together. So 3 times 4, that just gives me 12. And when we're multiplying um, bases with the same uh, base, we add the exponents. So here, this becomes x to the power of 2 plus 5. Um, which becomes to the power of 7, so 12, x to the power of 7. All right, so let's take a look at our next example. So here we have, um, here we have the 6 and the 5 being multiplied together. Um, so 6 times 5 gives me 30. All right, and then we have um, a and a here. So a squared times a to the power of five. And then we have, I'll just put it in brackets. And then we have b to the power of three multiplied by b to the power of six. That is multiplying, it should be a dot. Okay, and so again here, the bases are the same, a and a, so therefore we're adding our exponents. So we have 30, um, a to the power of two plus five, which is seven, and then b to the power of three plus six, which is nine. All right, next example, example number three, we are multiplying negative 5 times 3 times 2. So I'll just show that as a step here. Negative 5 times 3 times 2. And then we're multiplying, um, there's an a, a squared, and a to the power of 5. All right, so negative 5 times 3 times 2 gives me um, negative 30. And then a, we have, remember this is a one, so we have one plus two plus five. Okay, so one plus two plus five, which gives me eight. So we have negative 30 and eight to the power of eight. Good, okay, question number four. Um, so again, we're multiplying the two numbers. We have negative eight times negative two, which will give me a positive 16. All right, then I have a to the power of 1, a to the power of 2, so that is a to the power of 3. Next, b to the power of 1, b to the power of 1, so therefore b squared. And then c to the power of 2 and c to the power of 3, so therefore c to the power of 5. Okay, so next examples, we have to supply the missing factor in each question below. So 24ABC is what we have. One factor is 8AB, so therefore 8 times another number to give me 24. That number would be 3. Um, this factor already includes A and B, um, no C, so the second factor here would be um, 3C. All right, let's do this one here. We have 15x squared and y cubed. One factor is given here, 5x. 
So therefore, to get 15, the other factor needs to be 3. All right, and then we already have an x here, but the answer has an x squared. So therefore, we still need 1x, right, because x times x will give me x squared. Um, there's no y in this factor, and our answer has a y cubed. So therefore, we need to have y cubed. All right, so the other factor here is 3xy cubed. All right, let's take a look at this one. So here we have 4a squared bc. The one factor we've been given is half. So we need to get 4. So the number here needs to be 8. Okay, because 8 times half will give me 4. Um, we don't have any uh, variables in the factor. So therefore, we'll include everything here. So a squared b. All right, last one. Um, so negative 10y squared is the answer. One of the factors we're given is 5y. Now remember, this is a negative 10, so this has to be a negative 2. Because 5 times negative 2 will give me the negative 10. Um, and we have 1y, but the answer is a y squared. So therefore, we need to have another y, all right? Because y times y will give me that y squared. Negative 2 times 5 gives me the negative 10. All right, so for the first question, um, we're going to multiply 2 times 5 times 4, which gives me 40. Then we have an a, a, um, and no a here. So a times a, that gives me a squared. Um, then we have a b times b, that'll give me b squared, and then we just have the 1c, so our answer will be 40, a squared, b squared, c. Okay, next one, um, we have negative 3 times negative 4 times negative 2, that will give me negative 24. Next are the variables, so we have x times x times x, so that's x to the power of 3. Um, we have y times y, so that would be y squared, and then we just have the 1z. So that's our answer there. Negative 24, x cubed, y squared, z. All right, last one. Um, we need to multiply the 27 times the negative 3 times the negative 2 over 3. All right, put that in your calculator, and you'll end up with 54. All right, then we have x squared, x, and x. So that gives me x to the power of 4, because it's 2 plus 1 plus 1. And then we just have a y right here, no other y. So the answer is 54, x to the power of 4, y. All right, so if you're dividing monomials, um, you're going to divide or you're going to reduce the numerical coefficients, for example, here, which are the numbers. And then you, we're going to use our rules for exponents. We're going to use our quotient law, where we subtract the exponents if the bases are the same. All right, so we have here 35x cubed divided by 7x squared. So 35 divided by 7 um, reduces to just 5 because 35 divided by 7 is 5. Then x cubed and x squared, we're going to subtract the exponents. So we have 3 minus 2. So x, and I'll just show that step here that I'm subtracting. 3 minus 2, which just gives me 5x. All right, here we have negative 15 and negative 3 um, being divided. So we're going to... I'll deal with that first. So negative 15 divided by negative 3, that is 5. And then with the exponents, um, we have the same base of a, so we subtract the exponents. So 5 minus 2, that's just my step to show what I'm doing. And then we get 5a cubed. Okay, remember that negative divided by negative, it is a positive. All right, let's take a look at our next example. 
Um, so our numbers here are 27 divided by 36. Um, so we'll have to reduce that fraction. So if we reduce that, we get 3 over 4. All right, and then a cubed, a squared. So 3 minus 2. Um, that just leaves me with a. And we have b to the power of 5, b to the power of 2. So 5 minus 2, that is b cubed. All right, so this can also be written as um, 3 fourths, like a, b cubed. You may also see it written as um, 3 a, b cubed over 4 like this. All right, let's try our next example. So we have 18 divided by negative 6. Um, so we can reduce that um, to negative 3, right? Because 18 divided by negative 6 is equal to negative 3. So next we have k4 and k5, k to the power of 4 and k to the power of 5 being divided. So we're going to subtract our exponents. So 4 minus 5, that is negative 1. And then we have m 3 minus 1, which is squared. All right, so what you'll see in the modules, um, what we didn't see so much in, in the unit of exponents, is now we're going to be using um, only positive exponents. So recall, if you have a negative exponent, um, it moves down to the bottom. So here we have 3m squared staying at the top, and then the k would come down to the bottom like that. All right, and that's just a review of negative exponents. Um, so we have 15 um, divided by 5. That will give me 3. Then we have a squared and a, so 2 minus 1, that's just a. And then here we have b squared and b, um, so 2 minus 1, which is just b. So our answer is 3ab for the first question. Um, here we have negative 10 over 25. All right, so we're going to reduce that fraction to give me um, negative 2 over 5. Next, I'm going to check all of my um, variables and their exponents. So a to the power of 1, and we have a squared. So we have 1 minus 2. So 1 minus 2, so that gives me a to the power of negative 1. Um, b, we have... Uh, again, 1 minus 2, so b to the power of negative 1. And then the c squared is on the denominator. There's nothing else. There's no other c up here. So c squared is just staying on the bottom. All right, so it looks like this. All right, but then we have these two negative exponents. So what we end up with is negative 2 will stay on the top. Then on the bottom, we're going to have 5. Um, a, B, C squared. All right, so for the last question, um, so 56 over 64, 56 over 64, um, that gets reduced to 7 over 8. All right, next we have our A, uh, 2 minus 5, so a is negative 3. Uh, b is 4 minus 3, so that's just 1, or we'll just leave it as b. And then c is 3 minus 1, um, which is 2, so c squared. All right, so that's what it looks like. We have a negative exponent here, um, so that's got to move down to the denominator. So this is going to become 7, uh, b, c squared. And then we have 8a cubed.